it's Jasmine Barber Doll. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Um, a lot has happened since the last vlog that I made. Um, man, Happy New Year, first and foremost. Um, 2017 for me was nothing short of amazing. Like, within a year's time, I got my barber's license, I started working in a shop, and I made a move, like, across the country to Houston, Texas, which is something that I wanted to do for years. And literally, like, I mean, I moved here in November and things have just been going up from here. So I've been so busy, which is why I haven't had time to talk to you guys like I would like to. Also, um, moving forward in 2018, I know we always say, you know, like new year, new me, new stuff. But on a more serious level, I wanted to commit more of my time to YouTube and to vlogging. And I just feel like, you know, if you're going to do it, you may as well be serious about it. And I've had so many people ask me questions and, you know about beauty and just whatever and what I don't want to do is start something and not finish it and leave you guys hanging so um moving into 2018 I just want to give you guys a little bit of what I want to do you know what no I'm not even gonna say what I want to do what I'm going to do because in 2018 we're not going to say what we're about to do what we want to do what we're going to do but that we're going to do it because there's nothing to it but to do it and if you don't ever do it you're going to wonder what if, and you're going to keep saying, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and guess what? You'll never do it. I was supposed to move here three years ago, but I was scared. And so I moved to Atlanta, and literally my whole life fell apart because that's not where I was supposed to be. Now, I wouldn't change any of it for the world because it built me into a better person. It made me strong. It made me realize strengths in myself that I never even knew I had. So, you know, as they say, timing is everything. So, I'm just happy to be here. Anyways, um, 2019, I have said to myself, I will not be working for anyone else. Um, you know, like I said, I just moved here to Houston. So, I am in a shop, but I also work another part-time job just because, for one, moving is expensive. Like, oh my gosh, I started from scratch, like bought all new furniture, new place, new everything. So, um, yeah, like... It, it, yeah it got real you know what I'm saying also during the time of my birthday and Christmas and just oh my god so much like I couldn't have picked a better worse time to move also as far as talking to you guys more one of my things was like man it just takes so long to edit my videos and that's just something it, it does take time like it's no way around that unless I look for someone else to edit my video but I feel like no one knows me and what I like like I do so why not just do it yourself um also I felt like a little intimidated from other YouTube vloggers because when you guys or not you guys but when they get on here it's just like you know face beaten hair is always late and me yes I love that look yes I love to create it but on a daily that's not how I look like this is how I look. And so for me this year, not that I ever felt that I needed makeup or that I needed weave or needed wigs, but I am letting go of society's views of what makes us beautiful. Um, if I have something important to say, to tell you guys, I want to get it off my chest without feeling like I have to go fill my eyebrows in and highlight and contour. Like, Yes, we love to do that when we go out. And you, I'm not taking that away. I, I love makeup. I love to play in makeup. But I don't ever want it to make me feel like I can't take a picture or run to the store or feel any less beautiful than what I am because it's not here what council was here. So I know there are other women who probably feel the same way. Like, oh, there's so many beautiful women. It's so much. In 2018, I want to get back to the natural lip gloss bun wearing girl. Yes, I will continue my weave and makeup tutorials, but there's going to also be a lot of vlogs where I get to talk to you guys and I'm just me and I just give you me. Um, because me is not that. Me is very much a tomboy and if I could wear sneakers and sweatpants every day, guess what? I definitely would. I know these are what you guys like to see. Um, just kind of give people what they want. Like... I noticed as far as what gets the most views on my channel are my wigs. So, um, being that that's such a big major part of protective styling and, you know, just versatility and black women love to change their hair up. Most women love to change their hair up, you know, but I understand why that is the most few things. We're pressed for time, so the quickest 
the most convenient thing that looks the best is usually the best. In 2018, I also have business ventures lined up um, that I'm really excited about. Um, it's hard work, I can't lie. Like working two jobs and also trying to build your brand and your hustle on the side in the midst of not getting enough sleep, not having enough time to do anything. Like literally, my life is go, go, go. Like I don't, I get maybe five hours of sleep every night. But I wouldn't change it for the world because I know that once I get to where I want to get to, I'm going to look back at this and be like, oh my gosh, I grinded. I made it happen. And, you know, same thing with going through barber school or everything, you know, taking my barber's test, passing that test, like everything was grind. So this field that I went into, I understood that it was going to be a constant grind. Like my grind is never going to stop because at the end of the day, it's not like I want to stand behind a chair and cut hair for the rest of my life. So... At this point, you know, we're so much different than our parents. We don't go find a job and work for 30 years to retire. This generation, we are some go-getters. There's so much money out there that isn't tied to a two-week check. So I love to see, like, so many of my friends and associates, they're stepping out on faith and they're starting these businesses and they're doing things that may have intimidated them. So in 2018, we're taking life by the handles. Like, whatever that... Anything, anything in your mind that you say you might want to do, you may be interested, do it. Do it. You don't know. You don't know if you're not going to like it, if it's going to work, if you don't try. You can't succeed if you're scared to fall or fail. Like, you just have to get out there and do it. Everybody else out here is doing it and making it and taking chances. What's stopping you? So, in 2018, we're going to do a little more evaluating ourselves um, to figure out why we hold ourselves back from where we're trying to get to. I don't have any like, you know, catchy resolutions. One thing that I also wanted to add to my list is 2016, I was able to be a vegetarian for a set amount of months and I had no issues with it. And then my birthday came along and I kind of fell off for like all of 2017. So 2018, I'm getting back into that no meat um, aspect. I'm going to do baby steps uh, starting off. Monday through Friday, no meat, and treating myself to weekends, Saturday and Sunday to eat what I want until I can make the full transition to vegetarian. Now, I'm not, me personally, I'm not ready to go vegan. And if that's what you want to do, that's kudos. But I love my cheese and I love my eggs. And I know for me, I can't just go cold turkey on things. I have to do baby steps. Again, you have to do what works for you. So, you know, this is just a way for me to transition into that. And I'm doing it not because of, you know, yes, of course, we all have watched the documentaries and how bad it is for you. But also from experience, when I did it in 2016, I felt amazing. Like, of course, my weight dropped. It wasn't teeter-tottering like it does any other time. My skin was clear. Your poop doesn't stink. Like, it's so many freaking benefits of doing it. And I know when people first hear that, like, oh, no, I can never do that. I would never give up meat. But you don't know what you can do until you try. Like, we have been forced to believe that we need it, even for protein and to build weight and to build muscle. You don't need meat for any of that stuff. So I invite you guys to take the journey with me. If not, just watch, you know, whatever. Just whatever is for you is for you. I'm not going to tell you what you should be doing because I can't determine what is for your life. I just wanted to come and touch base with you guys because it's been so long to let you know that in 2018, I will be focusing on you guys. I will be making sure to be more consistent on here, regardless of how I look, how I feel, or any of that stuff. I know that's not why y'all come to my channel. So I want to thank all of my subscribers. It's mind-blowing to me that I just started this in February and how many followers I quickly got and how many people come from all over man all over to comment on your stuff for people who are already famous to comment on your stuff it's it's love it's amazing and like i said if there's so many other bloggers out here doing it what's to keep you guys from doing what they're doing you know how to do makeup you travel you have something interesting in your life whether it whatever it is someone else out there may want to see it may need that idea so if you want to start a youtube channel do it like just do it whatever you want to do in 2018 don't say you're going to do it. Don't say you want to do it. You're about to do it. Just do it. And, man, we're just going gonna to keep rocking this thing. We're going to take life by the horns all 2018. And we're going to be 
unapologetic about it. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in, listening to me on my soapbox. I just want to let you guys know that there is so much more to come. And I cannot wait to show you guys everything that I'm working on. I pray for peace, success, and blessings to all of you guys. And man, let's just let's just do this. Like, let's just do it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, also, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, let's all help each other. One thing that kills me is that we are scared to promote each other as far as, you know, giving people shout out or supporting or whatever because we think that it's going to take away from us or it's make competition for us. Like, no, let's, you can't think like that. You can't think like that. Everybody, let's eat. Let's win. Let's get it. I love you guys and I will see y'all soon. I promise.